this video, we will be talking about how RNA processing works. So we're going to talk about where RNA processing occurs, as well as what happens during RNA processing. So before we begin, let's make sure we are all on the same page. After DNA is transcribed into RNA in the nucleus, the initial transcript is called heterogeneous nuclear RNA, also called HNRNA. This RNA is then modified and becomes mRNA. During this modification process of turning HNRNA into mature mRNA, you will have capping of the 5' end, polyadenylation of the 3' end, as well as splicing out of introns. And as a reminder, this all occurs in the nucleus. Let's first talk about the 7-methylguanosine cap, also sometimes called a guanine cap which is added to the five prime end of the RNA. So as you can see here, this is the cap, and this thing is the cap here in that diagram. Now you might be wondering, why do we need this five prime cap? Well, this cap is important because it allows the ribosome to initiate translation by binding to this cap. In other words, you need this five prime cap for ribosomes to turn RNA into protein. Now let's talk about the other end, so the three prime end, which is shown over here, as well as over here. The three prime end of the RNA is polyadenylated, meaning lots of adenyl groups are added to the end. This is important to prevent the degradation of mRNA in the cytoplasm. So something that might come up on your tests is what is the signal for polyadenylation? This is AAU AAA. Now, Let's talk a little bit about the splicing out of introns. So the splicing out of introns is rather complex, so I won't get into that super in depth during this video, but I will link our video on splicing if you guys are curious. For this video, all you need to know is that introns are spliced out and removed while exons are kept in and expressed. So remember, exons are expressed. After the heterogeneous nuclear mRNA is capped, spliced, and polyadenylated, it is then officially called mRNA, or messenger RNA. This mRNA is transported out of the nucleus into the cytosol, and this mRNA can now be translated by the ribosomes. So it's important to remember that RNA processing occurs in the nucleus, and only mature processed mRNA leaves the nucleus. So you might have some test questions come up that ask you something along the lines of, you see a five prime cap on an mRNA, or it'll point to a five prime cap on an mRNA. And then it'll say, where in the cell did this get put onto the mRNA? Something like that. And the answer is in the nucleus. So as you can see, you can't just memorize this. You need to be able to apply it. Like most things in the body, we need to have a way to check that everything is okay. So with mRNA, this occurs in cytoplasmic processing bodies called P bodies. So these P bodies contain exonucleases to cut up the nucleic acids, decapping enzymes, and microRNA, which functions in RNA silencing and post-transcriptional regulation of gene expression. So the mRNAs may be degraded or even stored in a P body for future translation. Now let's go back and summarize the super important facts. So RNA processing occurs in the nucleus. When DNA is first transcribed, it's called heterogeneous nuclear RNA. After splicing, polyadenylation, and capping, you can call the heterogeneous nuclear RNA mRNA. And that all occurs in the nucleus. So thank you for watching this video, and if you got this far, please give this video a like. Comment below with questions or if you want us to make a video on a different topic. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a future video.